Hey everyone, it's Lenny Rao here from Lenny's Net Market and Two Brank Explosion. Um, today we're going to be doing a Jaxi review. If you're not familiar with Jaxi, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to cover everything you need to know about it. This is going to be a review series, so you're going to see multiple videos on Jaxi. I'm going to try to cover every aspect of it, and I'm also going to give you an over-the-shoulder walkthrough, um, logging into the members area or the dashboard, whatever you want to call it, and show you exactly all the features that uh, that I'm going to discuss in this brief. So. Um, at the end of the presentation, uh, hopefully you have all the information you need uh, to decide whether it's something that you can utilize and enjoy just as much as I have. Um, I will tell you right off the bat, if you're short on time, uh, you can sign up for Jaxi absolutely free. Uh, they give you 30 free searches. You can try the tool out. Uh, no obligation to upgrade your account to, uh, to any of the other features. But uh, again, if, if nothing else, just hop in there, take the free trial. I'll leave the link uh, as an annotation right here in this video and all the other uh, videos that follow. Where well, you can check it out absolutely free um, and, and evaluate it for yourself. Now, again, if you are you have no clue what Jaxi is, uh, I'm going to cover everything you need to know about it. So just stay tuned uh, over the next few slides. All right, so let's talk about what Jaxi is for those folks that may have never heard about it. Because to be honest. Uh, until uh, recent the last year or so I wasn't very familiar with it as well so first off Jaxi is a web-based keyword tool and what that means is as long as you have an internet browser as long as you have an internet connection you can access Jaxi from anywhere in the world so I really like that it's not something you have to download to your computer uh, that's going to slow your computer down it's 100% it's, it's, uh, web-based and it is, it is a, uh, a very fast tool that processes information rather quickly. Now, Jaxi is created by um, two guys named Kyle and Carson. And these guys are also the co-founder of the uh, Wealthy Affiliate Program. And um, I'm going to hop over here to my screen just to show you Wealthy Affiliate. Um, this is a uh, also free. You can get started with this. Um, it's going to show you how to build a profitable affiliate business from the ground up. And they cover everything you need to know. So these are two pretty smart guys, co-founder of um, a wealthy affiliate and the creators of Jaxi as well. Now, most keyword tools on the market rely solely on the Google Keyword Planner. And don't get me wrong, the, the Keyword Planner is effective, um, but you may notice they have changed some things recently and a lot of people just haven't figured out how to best utilize it. Uh, namely, um, when I talk about changes, the Keyword Planner no longer gives you the uh, the the exact search quantities, um, the average search uh, quantities per month of particular keywords. They used to do that. But now, unless you have a uh, uh, an account where you're using the Google AdWords program, you will not see, be able to type in um, or do research and get a list of keywords and find out how many exact searches they're getting per month. You're not able to do that anymore unless you're spending money in their Google AdWords program. So now, basically, if you're still using Google Keyword Planner, um, you're going to get a range. Um, so if, for example, your your niche is uh, dog training, you're going to get a range of how many searches the word dog training gets on a monthly basis. Now, I don't know about you. I guess I got spoiled by using the Keyword Planner tool in the past. I want to know a little bit more accurate than uh, a range of 100 to 1,000 searches of how many um, of, of how much how many searches a particular keyword gets. I want I want more exact data. So, Jaxi doesn't just rely on the Google Keyword Planner. They pull data from Google, Yahoo, Bing, and a number of other search engines um, that have real-time data. And it tells you, um, Jaxi's going to give you a, an exact search um, estimate based on their internal algorithm. All right, so let's talk about some of the features that you're going to get with Jaxi. And again, these features will make more sense when we do the over-the-shoulder the walkthrough. You'll be able to see uh, the features that I'm talking about that I'm going to walk through right now. All right, so you can search on Jaxi a couple of different ways. You can search by a, a particular keyword phrase, how to train my dog, for example, or you can search by dropping in a URL of whether it's your website or a competitor's website. It's going to bring back the relevant keywords from that URL that you dropped in. All right. So this is the best part. This is the things that I really like about Jaxi. And on this next slide here, I'll kind of show you a screenshot of, uh, of exactly what we cover here. You're going to be able to see the average number of monthly searches for any particular keyword that you type into Jaxi. And basically how it works, Jaxi has a search bar. You type in a keyword, let's say you put in the keyword dog training. Jaxi is going to come back and give you not only the word dog training, but all the related keywords uh, to dog training as well. It's going to give you the exact 
average monthly searches for those particular keywords based on its search algorithm okay so after you have the search um, the search the average number of search results you're going to get the estimated traffic results so for example if you were ranking on the first page of Google whether it be for a video or a website it's going to give you the uh, the estimated traffic that you're going to receive to your website or video if you were ranking on the first page all right so the QSR this is going to show you um, how many uh, particular websites are competing for uh, the keyword that you're trying to rank for all right so um, instead of walking through these I think it'll help you if I just if I just show you uh, a, a real time this is what the dashboard looks like as you can see I have the enterprise account which is actually paid um, and it has a lot more features than the free or the pro account but this is basically what you can expect uh, if you type a particular keyword into Jaxi in this example the keyword was uh, search engine optimization you would click the find keywords is blue button and then what it would what it would do is go out and give you the main keyword and all the keywords that are closely related to it okay and then it's going to give you the average number of monthly searches for that keyword how much traffic you can expect to get if you land it on the first page for that keyword um, this QSR again is how many websites are competing for that exact keyword and this is really a true representation of how much competition that you really have for the keyword um, KQI is taking these factors um, into consideration and it's saying it's going to give you a color rated. It's almost like a stoplight. Red, these are no go keywords that you really want to stay away from because they're going to be very competitive and hard to rank for. These are the keywords that people are uh, paying Google to be on the first page for. Highly, highly competitive, and you want to stay away from those. If it's yellow, it's not as competitive, but you know you it, you kind of may want to think twice about them, just depending on uh, you know is it worth going after. And then the green is a, that's a thumbs up. Uh, this keyword has uh, low competition, and it's going to be a lot easier for you to rank for. Now, if you're using the enterprise version like myself, you can sort these columns however you want. You can export all the data, and you can kind of just manipulate the data and choose which keywords. Uh, that are going to be best for your SEO efforts. Personally, I like to sort this KQI column and have all the green uh, keywords up here because those are the easier to rank keywords. All right, so now you have an SEO score as well, and the higher the score, uh, again, the easier the keyword is going to be to rank. So again, I like to sort this by um, highest to lowest as well. And then lastly, we have a domains column. This column is going to show you if there is a domain name, an exact match domain available for your particular keywords that you have in the search. Now, this can be very profitable as well. There is a training module on here um, on how to find profitable domain names, how you can be a domain flipper just based on keywords that may have uh, high searches and have the .com, .net, or .org available. So you can be, you know, a domain flipper if you decide to do that just based on. Um, the, the keywords that you find, the profitable keywords that you find using the Jaxi keyword tool. Now off to the right you may notice the related tab and a brainstorm tab. Um, Jaxi is giving you all the related keywords to your main keyword that you put in here and then you can you can also use the brainstorm tab to, uh, to put in keywords that you're thinking about writing an article about or doing research on and it helps you just string together different terms to create even more keywords. So just fantastic features here. I'll hop back over to this uh, this slide just to stay on track with what I'm talking about with the features. We covered most of them here. Uh, let me hop back over here. So you can save list of keywords with Jaxi. So um, it'll ask you for a, a name for your particular list. If I'm doing an SEO related project, I name that file SEO. And I could go through here and click. Maybe I don't want every keyword in this list. So I would check the box on keywords that I want and I would save them to a list. So let's say I wanted to save all the keywords with a green bubble here that were easy to rank. I can save those to a list, export them, and have them uh, all in one place uh, with all the uh, the pertinent data that I'm looking for. Um, let's see, so I can save list. It uh, saves all your search history. So if, if four to five days um, from now, you want to think about whatever you were searching back then, you, 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 you found a keyword and you forgot to save it, you can go back and check your search history. Um, it has a site rank tracker where you can put in particular keywords with your URLs that you want to track and it will track those as well. Uh, the last feature that I want to talk about here is the alphabet soup feature and this is probably my most favorite feature of Jaxi. Um, 
this is essentially a way to find unlimited keywords because basically well, how it works if I if I was working with the term search engine optimization I go to the alphabet soup tab and it will do uh, it, it would basically be like going to the search engine doing uh, search engine optimization plus the letter, plus the letter A plus the letter B plus the letter C and working my way down the entire alphabet until I have variations of my keywords um, and pretty much everything you need in, in regards to each particular keyword that you put in the search and if that didn't make me sense it'll make more sense when I do the over the screen walk over the shoulder walk through so just uh, just bear with me here all right so <clears throat> now as you click through to each one of these keywords if you click the related tab it'll now uh, pull the word WordPress search engine optimization as your main keyword here and it will show all the related keywords to that particular keyword so I think you can you can quickly see how you can uh, just come up with an infinite amount of keywords just from the related searches uh, just from all the relevant terms um, that that Jaxi has in his database very th uh, th thorough keyword tool excuse me and um, and I think you'll really like it so again if you've seen enough and you and you want to sign up for the trial I'll put the link the link here above the video go ahead and do that uh, if you want to see more and you want more information in the next video I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons of Jaxi some of the things that you may not like about it some of the things um, kind of expanding on what we talked about here what you will like about it and then uh, we'll work our way over to the uh, the over the shoulder walkthrough okay thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video take care